How do you build a successful multi-million dollar marketing slash sales funnel online? You know, there's a lot of information in the marketplace. There's a lot of misconceptions there. There's a lot of people saying you should do A, you should do B, you should do C, or you should do D. I think one of the big misconceptions is people think that a funnel is a page, a lead capture page that goes into a webinar page or it goes into some kind of um, thank you page and then you offer some kind of product, an OTO, an upsell, some tripwire, something like that. Those are not funnels. In this episode, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you the 12 core pieces of a successful multi-million dollar sales funnels and how to architect and structure for your business to be able to get the best results and the best ROI. So the first thing I wanna talk about is there's a big misconception of what marketing and slash sales funnels are. A lot of people think that it's three, four pages you connect together and then you put a little few emails and you run a little ad campaign driving to them. That's not a funnel. That's more of what I call a progression. Their progressions are things that you move people across almost like a next step or a journey through different types of mediums and platforms. A funnel, a full, truly a marketing sales funnel is the entire architecture of your business. So the first core piece that you wanna have in a successful million dollar sales funnel is the strategic milestone. So the strategic milestone is really what is the step or what is the progression that you want your target audience to go through? What are the milestones? Is it, for example, if you wanna do lead capture, then the strategic milestone for this one, one piece that you can put here is to generate more leads. If your strategic milestone is to take that lead and then convert it through, let's say, one pathway into a webinar or into a sales page, then those are two separate strategic milestones. If you wanna do it through a video sales letter or you wanna do it through a strategy call, then those are four different strategic milestones. Milestones are essentially what your target audience have to move through in order to reach in order to convert in your business. So that's the first core part of a successful sales funnel is to understand why you're doing this in the first place. What are the milestones that your target audience needs to reach in order for them to be able to get the result or solve a problem that they're going for. The second core part of a successful marketing and slash sales funnel is understanding your ideal audience persona. What the ideal audience persona is, is you really want to be able to map out what it is that they do, what books they read, what conferences they attend, what motivates them, what challenges and struggles that they have, what does results look like for them, where do they invest in most of their time, what are the websites that they're on, what are the things that they really enjoy the most, and what are the things they hate the most. And in order for you to really build a sales funnel that's successful, it starts from who you're going for. So an ideal audience persona and you can be able to, we'll show you a map here that actually you can use to be able to build out a very strong ideal audience persona so you know who you're going for. This will make your job 100 times easier when you know who it is. Our core piece of a successful sales funnel is knowing what your medium of distribution is. Are you gonna be getting people from Facebook? Are you getting people from Google? Are you able to getting people from YouTube? What are the platforms that you're gonna be driving traffic into? What are the places that you're gonna be doing it? That's really important for you to know because if you don't know where you're gonna get the people to come through and flow through your strategic milestones, then you're not gonna know what to do. So that's a core piece is really understanding where it is that you're gonna be getting these types of people to flow through. What are the mediums, the platforms, the distribution channels that are gonna to come to your website and then go through your lead capture and then go through your conversion process? What does that look like? The next thing and the fourth piece is you really wanna understand what is that creative? What is the uh, piece that they're gonna see? Are they gonna watch a video, a webinar? Are they going to listen to a podcast? Are they gonna read some kind of sales page or some copywriting material in order for them to move to the next step? What are they gonna consume as they're moving through the journey that you mapped out in your business? So the creative is gonna be a core thing that you wanna understand and put in place for the business and also for your target audience, to, target audience to be able to see. Next core piece is the audience position of progression. Where are your target audience at? What is the stage of awareness? Are they people that don't know anything about your business and they don't know anything about your product or service? Are they people or are they people that already know about your brand? They've engaged with you, they maybe watched a few videos or they've watched a few of your content and they already consumed some stuff. Maybe they've even bought for you. So whatever it is, based on the actions and behaviors that they've made, the position of progression, what stage that they're at, they're able to move across into the next step. So what's important for you to know is that depends on what they've done with your business, you wanna move them through different types of progression paths. So that's important for you to map out when you add this in. Where is the audience position within your marketing slash sales funnel? 
Are they at the awareness stage or are they at the consideration stage? Have they already bought from you or have they already bought from you multiple different times? Based on where they're at, if someone's brand new, you, won't, you wouldn't try to push the product to them. You want to warm them up with videos, you want to warm them up with content. If someone's already bought from you, they already have the trust, the relationship with you, then you don't want to keep sending them more content. You would focus on maximizing and getting the best results for them. And it might be just showing them more products or services that they can add more to what they've already bought. Or if there's someone that's already bought a lot from you, then you can turn them into an influencer or some kind of case study. And then you can use that to gather more people into your target audience and be able to drive more traffic or get more leads or do more conversions to generate more sales and revenue. So it depends on where your target audience is at. So understanding the audience position of progression is the next core step. The next thing is understanding the progression path. You heard me say this a lot right now, but in a marketing slash sales funnel that's truly successful is understanding that journey. What is that roadmap? Are they going through, if when they go through from let's say Facebook and they go onto a video and then they click on a link to your lead capture page or they click on a link to an extended blog post on your website, what does that look like? What does the journey look like for them? So you know what they see and if they consume it. That's very important. Knowing what they consume, knowing what's resonating with them and knowing how your audience is engaging with the journey that you set in front of them. For example, at the end of this video with Digital Secrets, I tell you to click on a link that goes to my site where you can get an extended piece on the 12 pieces of a multi-million dollar sales funnel. I get you to go there, you consume the content, I'm adding more value to you. And then there's also an option if you want to be able to download a PDF or watch a video that gives you more details on how to actually implement this into your business. That's my progression path. That's how I'm taking you down the path and what's actually happening. That's the pieces that I've laid out for you. What is your progression path? That's the next thing. What are the pieces that you're moving them through? What's the journey look like? That's the core thing that you wanna be able to map out. Next core piece is what I call influential indoctrination. It's really the messages, the communication, and how you're communicating with your target audience. One way that's two ways that are really popular is to use marketing automation. Marketing automation like ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft, Marketo, Drip, all these things allow you to send emails and engage ongoing communication with your target audience. If you haven't already, you wanna implement marketing automation in your business. There's also an in-depth uh, read that I have on my website where it teaches you how to actually implement marketing automation to your business that I'll link somewhere right here that you can click on and go to. But once you have the marketing automation, that's one way to, to actually communicate. The next way that's very new right now, at least in 2018, is chatbots. So using chatbots is another way, using uh, Facebook Messenger chatbots, to be able to connect and actually engage with your target audience. You think of influential indoctrination as actually the communication that you're doing with your target audience through email, through text, through chatbots, or through any form of medium or communication direct, uh, directly to them to give them a value, to give them uh, reasons to buy from you, to position your brand. Now for Facebook Messenger chatbots, there's a lot of things that you can check out. The two that I recommend would be ChatFuel, and then also uh, using um, Minichat. Minichat's another very popular tool. There's a ton of chatbot tools out there. These are the two top ones that I personally use that I would recommend to you. So influential indoctrination is really how you're gonna communicate with them through emails or through chatbots or whatever it is that you do. But you wanna be consistently communicating with your target audience. Core piece of a successful sales funnel is to be able to have segmentation. Every audience that you go through your progression, the journey that you map out, aren't gonna interact with you and take the actions that are necessary for you that you want them to go. Some people might, for example, consume one video, they go on your sales page and they buy. Some people might consume a video, they read a piece of content, they look at your social media posts, they go and watch your YouTube channels for six months, and then they convert. You wanna segment the people based on their interests, based on their behavior, based on the actions they take, based on their uh, profile, based on the ideal audience persona that you come up with. But segmentation is an important point. And the way that you can do this is through using marketing automation and using the chatbots that I mentioned before. You wanna be able to segment people because you don't wanna treat everyone the same. Someone that's, let's say, a guy that's 25 years old that's working a job right now and wants to engage with your product or service is gonna be different than someone that's 50 years old that already has a successful uh, career and already has a family is gonna engage differently with you. So you wanna treat these people differently based on the demographics, based on how they engage with you, and based on what are the key things that you want them to do. Now, the next thing is value offering. What is the value piece that you're gonna give them? Is it an ebook? Are you giving them an in-depth guide like I am for this episode of Digital Secrets? 
or are you giving them a video? What is that value offering piece that you're giving them? What is the thing that you're extending to build that relationship to go deeper with your target audience? You wanna make sure that you narrow down on the value offering that you're giving them, whether that's through video, through audio, a podcast, or through written content, a PDF or a guide. You wanna narrow down what it is so that they can get it based on the results or the challenges that they wanna break through. Once you have this value offering piece, the next thing is the conversion piece. How are you going to convert them once you've deepened the relationship with them, once they believe that your product or service is the best? How are you gonna convert them into an actual client or customer for your business? How do you actually get them to take money out of their wallet and spend it with your business? Are you gonna do it through a simple advertising campaign and a sales page and a product e-commerce shopping cart? Are you gonna do it through a webinar that presents a one to two hour presentation on your business and then be able to convert them into a, a course or convert them into a tool or a software tool, whatever it is that you wanna convert them through? What is the way, what is that one core piece that you use to convert your target audience once you've already built the trust with them into actually spending money with you and investing in them. So that's the core thing you wanna narrow down. What is that conversion piece? So one of the next core pieces, last but not least, is the connecting overpass. So connecting overpass, imagine if someone goes on your site, they consume your videos, they go on a sales page, they read a blog post, and they don't convert, they don't wanna join your webinar. What is the next connecting overpass or bridge that you wanna move them to? If let's say someone doesn't like your product, like they just don't think it's a right fit for them at this time, what's something that you can downsell them into? And if let's say someone does a buy or downsell, what can you move them to the next piece? Is it just to add more value? Or is it to focus on ad promoting a different type of product that's complementary to the results or the pain points that they have? What is the connecting overpass that you wanna move them into? That's important. Because you don't wanna be architecting one whole journey and then be able to have one small piece of a progression and then they stop there. You wanna continue the journey and cycle them back and forth in a way in which they feel like they're getting value at every step within your business and all the messages that you're sending them through marketing automation or through chatbots or whatever it is that you're gonna be communicating them with. The final piece of having a high converting sales funnel is be able to understand the analytics, the data that goes behind the entire journey. Once you've implemented the 11 pieces, you wanna know what's happening when they're moving through the entire process. If they're converting, if they're not converting, which target audience are they moving through? Is Facebook working better for you or is YouTube working better for you? Which conversion piece works? Webinars converts higher for you or does a lead magnet convert higher for you? Or does a sales page work better for your audience? All these different things in order for you to understand this and optimize the journey for your audience and get higher conversions and grow your business is knowing what's actually happening with the things that you're doing. So that's why having analytics and understanding from a campaign point of view from your lead capture, from your conversion of a webinar or a sales page, and also the numbers that you're getting ROI with the money that you're spending and generating is gonna be very important for you to know to be able to have a successful sales funnel. So those are the 12 core pieces of a multi-million dollar sales funnel. If you want to have an in-depth look or a guide on this, you can go here, there's gonna be a link, you can click here, it'll actually lay out the more steps in depth. I wanna keep these videos short because I wanna give you just the general overview of what it is on these 12 core pieces, and they're gonna be expanded in a lot more depth on the Digital Marketing University website, which is essentially, go there, you're able to learn everything you need to know about growing your business online with digital marketing. Thanks for watching this episode of Digital Secrets, where you learn the 12 core pieces of a multi-million dollar sales funnel or marketing funnel, if that's what you wanna call it, and essentially understanding what it is that you need to architect, to structure, and build out. What are the core pieces that you need to know? Now, again, there's expanded content that you can go into, but three core things that I want you to do is that there's gonna be a round circle right there with my face in it. I want you to click on it. You're subscribed to this uh, channel. And then also there's gonna be a bell icon I want you to click on. You're able to see the actual uh, episodes of future things that we're gonna release, updates on Digital Secrets, BWB, BTS, or any kind of content that we're gonna release uh, on the YouTube channel. The third thing is, let me know that you liked this episode, you got value from it. Well, I mean, you did learn how to build a successful sales funnel. So hit that like button right there and then we'll move on and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.